Hey, what's up guys? My name is Yutubon Campbell and today we're going to be talking about a new Sonic game, that being Sonic Frontiers. Now then, I know the game isn't out yet, it's going to be released holiday 2022, but I would still love to talk about it. I'm honestly very excited for this game. As we know from the game so far, Sonic Frontiers is going to be an open world game and the islands that are going to be taking place in is called Star, Star Falls Island. Um, and, and thank God that Pontac and Graf have retired from Sonic writing altogether because obviously they have some of the most awful writing in the Sonic series and to think that they were the guys who did Mad World as well. Um, so Sonic Frontiers, I'm very excited for it. Sonic Frontiers reminds me of other games, like, mainly it reminds people of Breath of the Wall, but it also reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus and Genshin Impact with a little bit of Horizon Zero Dawn as well. Honestly, from, from what we got in the game so far, it looks absolutely stunning, and so far, it beats Sonic Unleashed in terms of the graphical capabilities. Now then, the game will be releasing on PS4, um, the PlayStation consoles, PC, um, Switch, and the Xbox console, and the Xbox series consoles as well. Now then, as for the Switch, it's not as powerful as the rest of them, so... I think we're probably gonna either drop- I think we're probably gonna drop the resolution and frame rate down just like what they did with games like Fortnite. But, um, I feel- I'm uh, honestly very excited for Sonic Frontiers. We know that Amy is gonna be confirmed in the game, and since that Pontac and Graf are retiring from Sonic writing altogether, the new writer is going to be none other than Ian Flynn, the writer for the Sonic RG comics and the IDW comics. Which is honestly pretty cool, since Ian Flynn is pretty much praised from almost every single Sonic fan, and he is pretty familiar with the series. Of course, he's also one of the most controversial writers, so the writing in the game would probably be, of course, very controversial as well. But, um, either way, I am pretty excited for Sonic Frontiers. Um, now, then, as for the open world aspects, I don't know how it's pretty much going to work, like... It looks pretty great, but we don't see, like, any enemies in there, but it is just, like, what, but, but, but they are just showing the environment of what the game is about, so obviously we're going to add stuff in there, specifically, like, obviously the Eggman badniks, the badniks if, um, well, obviously I think Eggman is going to be in the game, but, um, Sonic Frontier is also, Sonic Frontier is like an isekai, not gonna lie, almost, except Sonic doesn't even have a freaking sword, Sonic and the Black Knight. I'm actually planning on giving Black Knight a chance. At any rate, yeah, I'm pretty excited for Sonic Frontiers. Um, the game, it was announced at the Game Awards, and honestly, I like the Game Awards this year more than most people, but either way, it was still pretty crap. There were very few announcements that surprised me. There were only like four announcements that piqued my interest. Um, the new what? Um, actually five. Um, Telltale Games being revived. Thank goodness. Um, I'm very excited that Telltale Games is revived. Um, a new Wonder Woman game, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax being ported to PS4, Switch, and PC, which is honestly I didn't. I kind of expected a bit coming. But my favorite, and I know most people's favorite, were obviously the, the two Sonic announcements, the second Sonic movie, and Sonic Frontiers. I feel like 2022 is going to be a great year for Sonic, since, if not probably one of the best years for Sonic, since Sonic Prime, a TV show that's going to be releasing on Netflix, Sonic Frontiers, and the second Sonic movie. More people are definitely excited about the second Sonic movie, and I love the first Sonic movie. Far from one of my favorite movies of all time, but it's still spectacular. And I want to see if the second Sonic movie will definitely improve on it. And as for Sonic Frontiers, I am very excited for it. I have my skepticisms of the game as well. I kind of have my skepticisms for Sonic... I had my skepticisms for Sonic Colors Ultimate, though surprisingly not for Sonic Forces. And we all know how, bo how both of those games turned out. I wonder, I have a feeling that Sonic Frontiers will probably be better than, like, both those games, but the game isn't out yet, so I'm not one, so obviously we, we can't be sure, but, um, I have a feeling that Sonic Team is gonna work their darndest to make this probably one of the best Sonic games of all time, of course that's what we thought about games like Forces in 06, um, 
But, um, honestly, I am pretty excited for the game. I know most people have their skepticisms, but I'm very excited for it. It looks amazing. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, and, um, yeah. Sonic Frontiers, I'm pretty excited for it, and it's, an unpo and it's sort of an unpopular opinion, but I am more excited for this rather than the second Sonic movie, but, hmm, oh well. At any rate, um, that's all I wanted to talk about, um... I wanted to make this video for a while, so I hope that you guys like this video, and yeah, to, and yeah, it's, and yeah, tomorrow is Christmas, so I wanna, and um, tomorrow I will be releasing a couple Christmas videos, so, Christmas specials, so, um, like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell down below, and yeah, um, see you guys next time.